But first, I have some questions for you that we've collected. Um, I know there's been some updates on the Social Security front on overpayments, Jim, something that I hope our listeners out there never get, but if they do. Um, but can you give us your perspective, like, you know, what's going on in that? Is it really just another news event or is it something of substance? This is really something of substance. And we have to thank the president for appointing Commissioner O'Malley, the former governor of Maryland, who's the new commissioner of social security, the first co real commissioner we've had in a long time. And social security has been on some overpayments, taking 100% of a person's check, leaving them with nothing. Commissioner O'Malley last week said that they will only take 10% of a claimant's check to recoup an overpayment. Uh, the problem is he said it's going to take some time to get it implemented. And if you have an overpayment and Social Security is taking more than 10% of your check, you should immediately call them 800-772-1213. That's 800-772-1213. Tell them you have an overpayment, they're taking more than 10%, and you want you to be in the new procedure where they're only taking taking 10% of your pay. That's important because the commissioner said it's going to take them at least four months to identify the people who are having more than that taken out of their check. And they're probably not going to give any retroactive money to anybody. So make that phone call, get your overpayment amount adjusted. Secondly, and this is another big one, is he said, in order, well, first of all, in order to have an overpayment waived, you have to prove it wasn't your fault and it would be a hardship to repay it. Mm. The commissioner said they've changed the burden and now Social Security is going to have to prove that it was your fault. That's a big, big deal. On the other hand, if you were working, earning more than the allowed limit and didn't call Social Security and and tell them you're at fault. If you were getting workers' comp and didn't tell Social Security, you are at fault. So if you put it on your application that you're getting workers' comp, you're not at fault. There's one argument, sometimes it's successful, sometimes it isn't, that when you're working and they take Social Security out of your paycheck, that's notifying Social Security that you're working. Mm -hmm. um, it's a stretch, but it's worked occasionally. My suggestion is if you're working and you call Social Security every time you get a paycheck to tell them you're working, save your phone bill because your phone bill will have a record that you at least called. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say what you talked about. But if you have a record that you called them, I, I have somebody who has been getting SSI since 1995. She tried working on the Ticket to Work program, which is a, lit a legitimate return to work program of Social Security. She, got, she worked enough to be able to get disability benefits. She applied for disability and was denied. She got hurt at work, was getting workers comp. And every time she got a paycheck, she called Social Security. Every time she got a workers comp check, she called Social Security. We had 24 years of telephone bills. It wasn't easy to get those. And we highlighted every call she made to Social Security. And although at the first level, Social Security said, we don't know what she was talking about. How do we know she called us to tell us she got a paycheck or she was getting workers yeah, comp? Yeah. It was pretty obvious that she was, or why would she have called on those dates? Um, so we did get her overpayment waived. It's still not easy. Mm -hmm. um, but 
but keep those records because you at least have a record that you did it. So it's, it's important. They're making it less burdensome. The next important thing that came out of Social Security was if you're getting SSI, they usually take a third of it away if you're living with someone saying that's their support for room and board. They're no longer counting support for food. People on SSI are usually food deprived. And they're saying that's a hardship that you shouldn't lose some of your SSI for. If somebody's paying for your food or giving you food or you're getting it from any other means, that shouldn't reduce your SSI. Mm -hmm. They haven't said how much they're going to reduce the offset by, mm -hmm. but they've at least made a change and said SSI people or claimants will not lose part of their benefit for a food support. They will still lose part of the benefit for um, support for housing but it's at least an acknowledgement. So we have a new commissioner who's seriously trying to help the disabled claimant. Beautiful. Okay, quick scenario for you, back to the overpayment before we move on, all right? Somebody is, um, they have a $2,000 a month disability check, right? And they tell Social Security that they're going to go back to work and maybe do some part-time work. Um, but as a result, they go over the limit by, say, $500 a month for 10 months for five grand. So does the 10% repayment apply to them because they let Social Security know? Well, they're not at fault. We then get to the hardship to repay it. They're first of all, not gonna owe it for the nine month trial work period. Right. So they will have an overpayment for one month or more than one month if they kept doing that. Um, the hardship to repay it depends on whether or not they're still working, how much they're making. Uh, it's a close call on that one. It depends on more facts. Okay. Okay. But um in yes, Jim. Um just a question, sir, regarding what you just shared from the mem the viewer. Did did I understand you to say that you have to call Social Security every time you get a paycheck? You don't have to, but I recommend that you do it or at least once a month call them and tell them what you earn. Okay. Thank you, sir. And there's nothing in the law that says you have to, but applying it, that's your best protection to prove that you've notified them and you're not at fault. Right. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's move on. Let, let me bit. add one more thing there. You oh. don't have to notify them if you're earning less than fifteen hundred dollars a month. Okay. All right. Um, but it, I always advise people, if you're going to do any type of work to let them know, it says in the award letter, um, but yeah, yeah. um, 